What's going on Facebook? So, I attempted this one just before, but being here at my family's house, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of activity, a lot of motion and commotion going on uh, with my niece being around and things like that as well. So, let's take two on this one. So, uh, talking about a, well, there's a couple of things. What I was saying before when I was jumping on live was the fact that I've just been watching some of, Grant, uh, sorry, no, this video is about Grant Cardone's video that I watched yesterday and some of the takeaways from it. But I was more so watching one of Frank Kern's, I'm just uh, sharing this one across to my personal page. Um, I was watching some of Frank Kern's videos recently and he's been on a, uh, I guess on a, on a Facebook live charge at the moment. And what I've decided as part of my game plan moving forward into 2019 after my strategy session yesterday that I was sitting down and writing out some of the game plans and everything for this particular up and coming year, which I'm super excited about. Um, really keen to kick it off when I get back to Bali in uh, two days time. What's today, Monday? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday night I get back to Bali. So super excited to get back there and really get back into a lot of it. But I thought, you know what, while I'm here, I'm gonna start to kick off some of that game plan. And that game plan looks like jumping on here and doing Facebook Lives on a regular basis, providing value and content, and talking about a webinar series that I've got go coming up or a masterclass that I've got uh, to break through some of the, the or talking about, look, talking about some of the challenges that a number of my clients have been through when it comes to dating the same guy. Now, yes, I'm a woman's relationship coach, but no, I'm not all about dating. Like that's not, not, the, not the main focus of it because the first relationship that we must rebuild it for ourselves is the relationship with self. So being a woman's relationship coach, the first focus is all about building the relationship with self, and then it's about building a relationship with others. So this masterclass that I'm talking about here does go through a number of those uh, barriers, some of the common myths and misconceptions, and a few other number of things that uh, I know a number of my clients have uh, raised and come against and all that sort of thing. So talking about that. So that's one, one of the big focus points on here, and the link is in the, in the comments and description. But you know what, coming back to the, the title on this particular Facebook Live, which is around the video that I watched yesterday with Grant Cardone. And it all stems back into, back into this masterclass that uh, you can go and register for and that link in the, in the description, which is around, you may know something, but not until you know something. That is when things start to really align for yourself. Now, a number of the this challenges, just talking about the, the idea of dating the wrong guy and some of the other challenges that a number of my clients have had, you know, a lot of them say, I know I know better. I know, I know what I should do, but all of the habits and limitations and all of the, the same patterns keep showing up, which has them playing out the same path and same process. Now, just write in the comments, let me know if this is making sense, if you're catching this on the replay or if you are on here live, because the, the thing that I realized yesterday, so, okay, coming back to what I said, I was sitting down doing some goal setting for 2019 and really starting to think about some of the, the financial goals. Now, finances and money doesn't necessarily drive me. I'm more driven about my clients and their results and their testimonials and their trials and tribulations and working through those and achieving the results on the other side. Like, that's what really lights me up. But money is something that is a, a byproduct of business. We've all got to accept that it's a transactional thing, it's a currency, it's, a, it's an energetic transfer between two parties. So for me, I was doing a little bit of mindset and uh, strategy and game plan in and around money. So sitting there yesterday and I was going through, well, doing the goal setting, but at the same time got a little bit distracted. I think sometimes we have a tendency when we're, when we're doing these things, we can get a little distracted. Anyway, coming back to this Grant Cardone video. So, this video that Grant Cardone had up on YouTube was all around, uh, it was a training session that he had done with his sales team. And it was, you know, it was a bit of a clickbaity title talking about being a millionaire and all this sort of stuff. But the the actual structure of the, the video itself really broke down the way that we should look at finances and the way that we should look at our income target. Hey Debs. Um, and for me, like this is one of the things that has been a bit of a limitation in my past. And I realized in watching that video that I've been shooting too small. I've been holding myself back and limiting myself from a financial standpoint because of my mindset. 
Now, that's not, that's not stopped me from working with clients and achieving their results, but it probably has limited me in creating the impact that I'm out to achieve. So what am I saying? You know, I know logically up here all about shooting for particular financial targets and things like this and what are the byproduct of it. But in that moment yesterday, watching that video from Grant Cardone, it got to me in a different way because sometimes we can hear the same message over and over again, but it doesn't actually change or it doesn't actually um, resonate and land for us until we're ready to hear that message. And yesterday watching that particular video, I really understood the reason why that target is there and why I'm aiming towards that and what that means for my future and what that means for my present. So it allowed me to connect a deeper why and deeper connection to it. Now coming back to what I was saying when it comes to my clients who have gone down the path of dating the same guy and they know consciously that they're not good for them but they still end up in the same relationships and, and, and uh, attracting in the same type of guy. You know, that's when it comes down to if we don't truly understand it in this level, in that depth level, then we're not actually going to make any shifts and changes. So this is some of the, the things that I'm talking about in that masterclass that, as I said, you can link, or the link is in the comments or the description of this video. You can go and register that one. It's a free masterclass or webinar. So jump on there where I start to break down some of the five steps to breaking the habits of dating the same guy. Now, whilst we're not necessarily all talking about dating the same guy in the context, but it's a lot of the mindset stuff that comes with it and a lot of the limitations that come into it. So by all means, register for that one and check it out. Now, this, so the key thing is just making that shift and sitting with a particular idea or an inquiry until it resonates in here for yourself. Because once it resonates in here, the external results are going to start to show up. So what is it that you currently know logically? You know, let me know, like, let me know a bit of an example. What is something that you currently know logically, but the habits and the traits are still producing the same results that you've been previously getting? What is there that you haven't quite embodied? What is it that you haven't quite really connected with? so that you can actually start to achieve those different, um, Debbie says, I just don't date anymore. Can't date the same guy if I don't date. <laughs> well, that's one way to solve the problem. Yes, absolutely. And at the same time, like, you know, that highlights a really good point in the fact of giving yourself that time and space to get to know yourself more and really being able to connect in with what you're wanting and who you are and being able to understand your own values and everything like that. And I'm kind of going off script a little bit there. so. I'm not too sure if that resonates or not, Deb, but at the same time, you know, that's something that, that comes up out of that as well, especially when we're talking about that, that relationship side of things, getting, getting to know yourself. So, yeah, so recapping, that's kind of what we're talking about here is a case of really, when you know something up here, that's one thing. But when you know something down here, that's a completely different aspect. And that's when the, re the results are going to start to show up in a different way. So that masterclass, go and register for it. As I said, it's a free masterclass. There's a couple of different time options available in there. It is a, a, a one hour webinar that's going to go through a number of the, the mindset limitations that has women constantly dating the same guy. And, you know, there's a couple of areas that that can obviously flow into from a personal space, not just in the relationship space. But it's really around starting to shift some of that mindset structure that is in place and it's having that same result showing up. So go ahead, go and check that one out. And these Facebook Lives are gonna be a bit of a regular thing, or well, not a bit of, they're going to be a regular thing over the next month or so, at least through January. So I'll be on here on the next day as well to, to tune in and give some more value and, and talk about it all as well. So wish you all a fantastic day for those who are in the Southern Hemisphere, you know, happy New Year's Eve. Uh, and those in the northern, I guess you've got one more sleep. But um, have a great day. Speak soon. Take care. And I'll uh, see you tomorrow.